Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today I want to talk about wins and losses in Grand Arena and what you should think about it. So let's jump into it. So yesterday, I played my Grand Arena, and I thought before I even started, I was like, there's nothing I can do here to play against this character. Like, as far as after he full cleared me and scored at 1848, I was like, there's nothing I could do. I was like, I already lost. And I was, and I thought about it, and I was like, that's okay. That's not bad, honestly. Uh, and I and I want to show you something. So, if you look at my GAC bracket here, I'm about 10 million GP. I have six GLs. I'm missing some legendary characters, and uh, marquees aren't fully built up that are important. And then I, I have all the fleets. So, if you look at my GAC bracket, because this is the bottom of Kyber 2, and I know a lot of players are getting pushed down and down and down, but I've been staying pretty much Kyber 2. Sometimes I get pushed down to Kyber 3, but I, I climb right back up. Uh, but what I notice is my bracket is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I've gotten to the point where I am very clearly at a disadvantage because my opponents have every GL, they have all the legendary characters. I think this one's missing just Reva here. And then as you can see, they have all the fleets. So. I'm just at a disadvantage, a huge disadvantage, <clears throat> and I win up to, let's see my history, so I win about 60%-ish of my rounds based upon just effective utilization strategy and execution. So if you look at my scores, usually pretty clean. I think my last round, I dropped one battle in all of the Grand Arenas. So. It's, it's a very difficult strategy, but all I do is I leave, uh, I leave my opponents the opportunity to make some mistakes by putting a few strong teams and ships on defense that might trip them up and then they drop a few battles and I, I just win by not dropping any battles. And it's a very tough thing to do when I'm going against opponents that have everything where I'm missing some of the things, some very important things, and I just don't have the depth to compete at their level. So if I place a player who actually knows what they're doing, uh, like this, uh, I think it was Boba Damus, who, or maybe it was Brutal, it was one of them, uh, that just kind of like bodied me, then I just lose. And you know what? I'm not upset. I wasn't upset about it. I full cleared them. I dropped one battle and I lost. There was nothing I can do. Uh, he just beat me so very, very cleanly. It was it was an absolute devastation of my defense and there's nothing I could do and that's fine. So the way that Grand Arena is designed is that we're going to win somewhere between 40 and 60% of our matches and if you lose up to 40, then you're going to get weaker opponents and then you'll climb back up and you'll probably be closer to 60 and then it'll like, it'll, it'll kind of balance out that way to be around 50% and that's just fine and I, I think as long as you have the mentality of like, okay, what can I learn from that? So what did I learn from my last Grand Arena? I learned that my the defenses that I set were strong enough that they were able to choose them. So I have to kind of still, and I, I still had some, some pretty good teams left on offense. So I just have to be less... Uh, less offensive and place a little more defensive characters to give them a little more opportunities to give me that that win based on their mistakes so always try to take a lesson of like okay uh, I lost that not a big deal what can I do moving forward and you have to look at it that way like hey uh, I'm sure I, I've seen in my discord a lot of players that are just like hey these matches are unwinnable there's nothing I can do and I've felt like that ever since I hit Kyber. Uh, about a year ago is when I hit Kyber. And I had two GLs and two GL fleets. And I was still able to hang. I, once I went into Kyber, I never was pushed out of Kyber. And since then, I've kind of like climbed up to Kyber too. And once this squish started happening, I just kept pushing. I, I, I win more than I lose. But I still lose something like 60 some banners, which is like two matches. So even though I have a winning record, I keep getting pushed down and down and down and then I have to keep climbing up and then the my opponents just get stronger and stronger and stronger as I continue to do that. 
and that's fine. Like I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm not burned out in Grand Arena. I'm not. I'm. This isn't a complaint. I'm saying that uh, you just have to look at it at a way that is have realistic expectations of what you do, uh, what you can do. Try to take every Grand Arena as a lesson. So did you did you fail on a certain GL? Did you fail on your ships? Like what what caused you to lose? And then how can you combat that? And there's in people might say, well, you have like a mod advantage or you're good with mods. But look, look at these mo six dot mods. I have 287 compared to like the closest to me is has almost or more than double my six dot mods. The most has like more than triple. So you just have to look at your your opponents and not care about the GP. Don't worry about the GP. If you're outmatched, you're outgunned. That's fine. You just have to do your best. And there's ways to make a winning strategy, even if your opponent has the more developed roster. Because at the end of the day, this is a hero collector game. It's about resources. They have more resources, so they have the advantage. The Grand Arena is not a fair matchup. It doesn't match you up based on GP. It doesn't match you up based on ability. What it does is just win or loss. That's it. Like, did you win your match? You're going to get more points. Uh, more rating and then you're going to face tougher opponents did you lose then you get less rating and then you face weaker opponents uh, did you uh, log into GAC in the beginning of the month okay then we all drop 60 points or something so you just have to look at it at, as if you're winning more than you're losing and you find yourself at an extreme disadvantage that means you're doing something right that means you know your your counters you know how to play you have a winning strategy and the game is rewarding you with more crystals but the downside is your upcoming battles are going to be harder to stay where you are and that's why no matter what you do in grand arena we're all going to have about a 50 ish percent win rate Unless you're like Aesop Rocky and he's like the top number one and just never loses or something. So you just have to look at it like that and not worry about uh, like, hey, this is unwinnable. This is unrealistic. This is ridiculous. This is this is the end of the world. I'm so upset right now. Like I had my I played my match yesterday and I felt when I went into it. And I saw that my opponent had beat me at full clear with ridiculously clean battles. I was like, that's fine. Even though I, I put down a, a decent defense here and I, I had a, like I had the opportunity to play against them and, and try to do the same thing. Uh, but you know, like this is a this is a very good competitor. He had very good teams on defense, he had very good data crons. Uh, his fleets weren't really like a problem uh, just the leviathan and the rest was easily easily beaten negotiator with with marauder uh, but did i get upset did i cry did i rant uh no i just i just played my match i lost mm -hmm. i got my free credits for full clearing like 100 per battle and then moved on with my life and now i'm here making a video to you all saying that like look at me in my big boy pants <laughs> you know uh but that that's my lesson here guys like don't worry about it if you win if you lose uh just do your best find the lessons find the silver lining in whatever it is that that is going on and then try to not only make a farming pathway that can overcome the deficiencies that you're facing uh but just have a understanding that it's okay to lose this is okay it's not the end of the world and guess what i'm my next opponent just as ridiculous uh that opponent i played played since the beginning of the game and i have three years time played this one almost the beginning of the game like what eight years time played right there hey it doesn't matter like unfortunately i've climbed to the point where i'm playing against those ha that have been playing like two three times longer than i have and i can still beat some of them so Wherever you are, if you're if you're enjoying enjoying your light speed bundles, you push your GP, you're you're farming your ships, you have great mods, you have good data crons, and you find yourself in Kyber and you're constantly punching up. Hey, that means you're doing a great job. So good job. 
uh, pat yourself on the back and then take your wins with your wins and then take your losses with the side of a lesson so that you can continue to punch up and, and show these uh, these huge accounts that have been playing forever what you have and that just because you're a smaller account doesn't mean you can't win because you absolutely can. So thanks for listening. I'll see you all next time. Take care.